Hello. Today I want to speak to you about something that impacts one in ten of us and is actually on track to impact one in three of us if we don't actually intervene. Diabetes. Now diabetes is something I've been familiar with all my life because when I was about four years old my mom went back to college and the woman who took care of me had diabetes. And I always remember um, the process being sort of um, frantic even though it happened every day because it consumed so much of her life and the family's life to ensure that that was always correct as it should be. 36 million people have diabetes in this country and 90% of those uh, people with diabetes actually have type 2 diabetes. That's the type of diabetes that actually is contracted as we get older. Our diabetes self-management program actually has been um, acknowledged by the American Diabetes Association as one of the best in the country for the education program. That education is critical to ensure people have control, not the disease, but people have the information they need to be able to gain that control over the disease. And we even have a separate program in addition to that that we call Health Plus. This is a program where we send a bunch of technology home with you. We have a pulse ox that measures your oxygen flow. We have the insulin machines, obviously, that where you can measure your blood sugar. We have a scale that allows us to be able to check on you from a weight perspective. And then we have a constant monitoring that checks in with you every day. We're not looking to have to manage your life forever. We want to teach you how to do it so you can live that normal life and be able to take control of this disease. And I want to tell you about one of the patients who did just that. Pete Bellorio is one of Dr. Wynn's patients, and he's 74 years old, and he had been managing his type 2 diabetes. He came in for the last visit um, in about, uh, I guess it was the summer of 2019, and uh, Dr. Wynn looked at him, he's like, I can give you another med, or we actually can try and start taking control, start winning against this disease. And what Pete said is, he's like, you know what I liked about it the most? They weren't yelling at me, but they were always a constant presence there. So I knew that I had a partner in this. Well, that and the fact that Pete lost 15 pounds and rides 10 miles on his bike each day, he took control of this disease. And while he will always have type 2 diabetes, it will not control him. And that is because of the tremendous partnership first started with his primary care physician, Dr. Wynn, who really intervened with him and came up with a plan, but it really was all of the docs. And no matter what part of our community you're in, we have Dr. Vecchio, we have Dr. Kushner, we have Dr. Fox Malil. All of those endocrinologists are right here in your own community, ready to step up and partner with you and be able to move forward just the way Pete has, controlling his life, understanding that diabetes is just a small part of it. Until we meet again, be well and stay safe.